Hi, my name is Rhys Craggs. Today I'll be explaining the difference between a transaxle and a transmission. In this part here we have a complete transa transaxle. Later on we'll be showing you a complete one stripped down. Here we have the transaxle uh, housing. And it's all been all being pulled to parts. You can see where the valve, guard, valve cover goes and all the uh, gears and the clutches and all the rest of the components. Here we have the components of the uh, transaxle. So over here we have the valve body guard, um, all that part, it's all part of it. And then we have the clutch rings at the back, yeah, the bearings, the input shaft, and the rest of the components that belong inside the transaxle. The main difference between a transaxle and an automatic transmission is that the automatic transmission does not have the final drive built inside, whereas if the transaxle does, it has the diff and all that built in, so direct torque power goes straight to the front wheels, whereas on the transmission it goes down a shaft to the diff through to the rear wheels. So as you can see, the transaxle housing is a lot bigger. The Honda transmission transaxle is very similar to a manual transmission. Instead of having synchrones and selectors, it has a clutch which operates from hydraulic pressure. To change gear ratios, fluid is supplied to the second clutch as the first clutch is released, allowing drive to now pass through the second clutch and gear to the output.